Hi, I'm Todd Stack, and I'm here to perform a demonstration of the MedPod Mobile Dock 2 from Henry Schein. The MedPod Mobile Dock is part of a line of hardware offerings from MedPod. The beauty of the Mobile Dock is that it folds into a travel case, weighs approximately 31 pounds, and you bring it to where the patient is. Similar to the rest of the MedPod product line, MedPod operates on a cloud-based platform. Only using a Chrome browser and an internet connection with two megs up or down, a remote provider can have complete control of all the devices. The remote provider can turn devices on, off, capture audio, video, clinical data on demand, annotate images, and then all the clinical data that we capture as part of a MedPod encounter pushes to the patient's medical record in your own EHR. We do a one-time mapping of the clinical data that will be captured in a MedPod session and push it to your patient records in your own EHR. So no different in the physical world, we'll engage with the patient, we'll validate security that we're seeing the right patient, we'll pull up their basic demographic information if we've already done the EHR interface. Then in this example, we already have blood pressure being captured. And as you can see, the blood pressure is displayed on the Welsh Island Connex locally. It feeds automatically to the local side of MedPod and then to the remote physician side. The remote physician obviously can view all of this data and then the data flows into the EHR. So I'll continue that process and connect the patient to the SpO2. And as you'll see, without storing or forwarding or hitting any buttons, the data will be collected from the Welch Allen unit to the local side of MedPod and then to the remote physician where again, it'll flow into the EHR directly. And there's the results. So at this point, I'm going to show what it's like for height and weight. We, we're going to simulate that. We have a platform scale and an ultrasonic stadiometer. Um, but to simulate that, I'm just going to plug these numbers in. Same information. It captures live from the patient, goes to the well challenge unit, gets captured, flows to the med pod on the local side, and then to the provider side and captures BMI. So at this point, we're ready to bring in the remote provider. No different than in the physical world, we've captured the basic vitals and we're ready to move on with the examination. I'm going to hit the call button and you'll see the available providers come up on the screen. Now these will be specific to your practice and the number of docs you have signed in. And we select the physician. The remote physician, again, merely using a Chrome browser and internet connection on any device is available and it becomes part of the session. The remote provider now sees all the data that we've already collected in the basic exam components which are shown on the screen here and shown on the same screen to that doctor where he's logged in as well as being pushed to the EHR. From here the remote provider can access additional diagnostic tools. I'm going to simulate that remote provider turning on the stethoscope which he or she can do I can also do from the local side. So by merely pushing the toolbar, I can engage the stethoscope and at the doctor's discretion perform an exam. I can see the waveform and capture the audio and either myself as the local provider or the remote provider can change the audio filters based upon the exam we want to do. So if we want to listen to heart and lung sounds, we've changed the frequency curve over the internet for this device. We do the exam, we capture the information, and then we can save that information to your EHR. Similarly, with the JedMed Multiscope, a multi-purpose device has a, a LCD screen and a series of lenses. This is a general exam lens. has a light source and focus. So I can survey the situation for where the patient currently is and are there any issues related to their living conditions. I can do a full body exam. I can do a wide range of exams. I can focus on specific parts of the body based upon the chief complaint and capture that image. So that remote physician, again, can turn this device on, can make the image bigger or smaller based upon the interaction with the patient, can capture both still images and video specifically related to the chief complaint or the exam that's taking place. So I've captured this image on this side. The remote physician clearly can do the same thing, annotate images at will. So whatever the remote physician annotates remotely will appear on this side to in, in, engage with the patient. And then whatever is captured here, again, is stored to the EHR. No one's rekeying information anywhere. All the data is clear and clean and accurate and mapped to the appropriate places. Really simple and straightforward and easy to use. There's not a large learning curve to any of the devices. Uh, the technique is slightly different on the JedMed 
in that most clinicians are used to using a standard Welch Allen otoscope, ophthalmoscope. The dermoscope lens is extremely powerful, diagnostic quality, and between the light source and the measuring tool clearly provides the ability to do a diagnosis and take clear measurements uh, if something is getting better or worse, whether we're doing wounds or we want to uh, perform additional procedures. Again, simple and easy to use. That's the whole purpose of all of the MedPod tools. These are the same tools that are available and probably in use in your office, maybe with the exception of the JedMed. Uh, extends all the way to EKG and spirometry. So if you want to do a full 12 lead EKG, EKG is available if you've purchased that option. If you don't buy EKG and you add it later on, you plug in the EKG, it comes up on the toolbar, nothing to install. The remote physician does not have to install any software and you can perform an EKG remotely just like you would in the physical world. Uh, in addition to that, we have language services built in across the platform for MedPod. So either myself or the remote physician can turn on language services. You'll see the most popular languages plus American Sign Language pop up on the screen. If you don't use the service, you don't pay for it. If you do use the service, you pay for it by the minute. So different from a physical translator where you're paying for travel time, minimums, and cancellations, you'll never have that problem because you're not going to hit the button until you're actually engaged with the patient. So a person trained in medical terminology that speaks the language comes up live on the screen and engages between the patient, the on-site caregiver, and the remote doc. We don't have to make any separate connections. All this is live and happening through the same session that the remote physician is already on. We can also clearly show you that you don't have to have translation session, uh, session running during the entire encounter. Yeah, I am your Spanish interpreter, ID number 071. How may I help you? Good afternoon. This is Todd from Henry Schein and MedPod. We're just doing a demonstration to prove that you are actually live. Yes, sir. Hi. Thank you. Sure. Thank you for have, using our services. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Bye. So as you can see, as simple as that, a person trained in medical terminology comes up live on the screen. You can make them big or smaller, whatever you need to do. This is all about interaction with the patient. Clearly, we're focused on this side of the equation, but the patient would be engaged with the physician remotely. I'm merely here to facilitate the process. We think the MedPod platform from video only, translation services, mobile docs, carts, remote patient monitoring offers you the ability to truly engage in where healthcare is going and take advantage of telemedicine. Please reach out to your Henry Schein representative. Thank you.